Next is EXO Love Shot. Um, I bought this with my sister together too. And like, I hate SM because these albums are so fragile. And this was also one of my first albums that was not BTS. So like, a few pages are literally broken. I hate it so much. I'm going to scream my head off. Ugh, I'm thinking about buying another one just because this one's like, fucked. But this was my first EXO album and... Um, as I said, I bought this for my sister. We had the same rule about the biases and the photo cards. And I literally got Chanyeol. And it's one of the most beautiful Chanyeol cards there is. And I, wa I saw it and I was like, bitch, what the hell? And like, he's my bias. And I was like, oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I really love this album, like, repackaged. But uh, photo book is broken. I hate it, but I'm fine. Mm. Next, we have Astro um, All Light. Yeah. The, the title track is called All Night, the album is called All Light. Um, it's the white version and I really wanted this album because I love this album a lot. It's the first like full um, like full album. And this was also my first Astro album. I think I got MJ's photo card and um, Uno's photo card. Yeah, I was really happy. I love this album. It's beautiful. And the photo book is really cute. Next we have Monster X. Um, are you here? Yeah. Are you there? I'm sorry. Are you there? It's the um, is that alligator or is that shootout? I'm like, I'm dumb. Wait, let me look at the hair colors. I have literally. I think I uh, know this is shootout. Yeah, this is shootout. Alligator one is um, black. So um, yeah, this is shootout. I. This version one, I also like don't really collect Monsex albums. I just buy some of them that I see at least one version of them. And yeah, but because you get so many photo cards in Monsex albums, it's so cool. I love Starship for that. And they're so thick, there's so many pictures. I'm in love and like it's so pretty. It's cute. I don't remember at all who I pulled because there are like four photo cards in each album and I have two Monsex albums. So I literally have no idea who I pulled in which one. I know I never pulled one hole before in an album. That's why I traded one of my jungle photo cards. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, now we have the boys reveal. So I only recently got into boys. Not recently, but like, you know. And this was my first comeback as a stan. And um, I love this album so much. And I actually bought this from my music taste. Because they had like... Um, like extra photo cards because I knew you only get one photo card, which is fucking no. Like they are, how many are they? <laughs> they are 10, 10 members and you only get one photo card. Like who did that? Like literally Monster X are like, they were seven and I got four photo cards. Like what is this? So I bought it off of my music taste just because I wanted more photo cards. And um, it was actually a random version because you couldn't choose what version you wanted. And I got the DIY one. And at first I was a bit disappointed because I really wanted the um, the blue one. But then I looked at the pictures and like since it's a DIY version, they all took the pictures themselves. And the pictures are so beautiful. I'm literally in love. And like they're so, they're literally no makeup, no everything, everything themselves. They look fucking cute as shit and I, I love this album <laughs> it looks so cute and yeah now I'm really happy I got the DIY version just because it's cute as shit um also like I'm happy I bought for my music taste because in the album itself I got Suno's photo card who's one of my biases and like from the other photo cards I got um Sangyeon and Chani and they're also both in my list so I win so the last one from this side is the X1 debut album, one of the versions, like the white one. Um, also, this arrived broken. Like, I'm literally going to kill myself. Like, uh, when I saw this, I almost exploded. But I didn't really have money to buy another version of it. So I just, like, rolled with it. <sighs> like, seeing this now makes me really fucking sad. Because I remember how fucking excited I was. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna collect all their albums, all their everything. I bought both versions. Like, the other version is somewhere here. And yeah, now it's over, you know. <laughs> I'm fine. I think I pulled Unsung in this one, and um, yeah. It's the 80s debut album. 
Treasure episode 1, Ultra Zero. I know that like recently they have been pretty hard to purchase. But I bought this literally before Save My Name. So like back when I bought this, no one wanted to buy it. <laughs> because the 80s didn't have that many fans back then. Um, but yeah, I really like them like since um, Pirate King. So I really wanted to um, collect their albums. So I'm doing that now. I'm still behind on their albums, sadly. And I gotta hurry because they're having comeback soon, but uh, yeah, I pulled Woo Young in this one, but I gave it to my sister for, uh, I don't know what she gave me for it, but she gave me something. Um, next is Woo Song from The Rose, his solo album. Um, if you don't know his solo song, it's called Face. It's literally, was a which literally one of my favorite songs from last year. And I saw the album on Amazon and it wasn't that expensive. So I thought, let's buy it just because I really love the album. I like Wu-Tang and I wanted to support him a bit. So I bought this album. Um, it's cute. looks cute. It's a little small. And I like the photo card I got too. Um, yeah. That's that. Next is another one of album. It's their debut album, which also is a bit run down because I've had this for a few years now. I bought this like right after they debuted because I really like one of And yeah, if I look back, this album, like this photo book isn't like spectacular or something, but it's a debut album. So I just wanted to support them. I got Raven and Lido in this one, but I traded both of them off for something else. And also the photo cards weren't like real photo cards, they were a little more like like pictures and stuff. If you know how the photo cards looked in that album, you know what I mean. Next we have 17 and O, the real version. <sighs> I fucking hate this packaging so much. <laughs> because like I can't like you know like there's no bag you you can't really see when I like put it in the shelf and like ugh, I just and the packaging is like already already so fucked up just because it's like fucking paper and like ugh. but I'm fine I just love this album I'm planning to buy another version of this the um, hope version I think it's a green one because the photo cards were so cute and you get a lot of photo cards in this album like four like I need another chance because I haven't pulled Mingyu myself yet. I bought one uh, one photo card of his from this version, but I haven't pulled him yet. So yeah. Who did I pull in this album? I pulled Dino, I pulled Donghan, I pulled Minghao, and I pulled Joshua. Yeah. Those are my pulls in this one. It's pretty and I love the album. Next one we have oh my god, this is so pretty. It's the day six, remember us, youth part two. I think this is such a beautiful album. It looks so good. Like, hello. Like, okay, here's like my stickers, but like, you know, like it's so pretty and I love it. I pulled one pill in this one and he's blonde. I love it. Next up, we have TXT Dream Chapter Magic. Um, the which version? Arcadia version. I still gotta buy the newest TXT album. I haven't bought it yet. I'm like a bit late with like the newer albums. But I'm definitely gonna collect TXT stuff. I'm also thinking about collecting their DVDs and the photo books and stuff. But I'm still thinking about that. But yeah, I have this version of the album. I love this album. It's pretty. And I pulled... Oh god, what did I pull? I'm not sure because they don't really have like real photo cards anyway. I know I pulled Subin and maybe Bomgyo, I'm not sure. Um, next we have NCT Dream, the Boom album. I bought this together with my sister. I bought this version, she bought the other one. And I like this version a lot, it's so pretty. Um, I pulled I pulled Channel's photo card and Geno's like circle card and um my sister pulled um, Jeno's photo cards, so we traded the photo cards because Jeno's my bias and Chandler's in her list. But I really like this album, like, it looks cute, like. I like the packaging for NCT albums normally, especially this one. Also, this is the first HC Dream album I bought and still gotta buy, like, all their other albums. I'm trying to collect them, but it's hard. 
Um, next we have one one. I promise you. Um, I only got into one one after they disbanded. Also, this is the night version. But I really love one one so much that I want to buy all their albums. Like not all versions, but at least one version of every album. I have two till now, and I'm working on the rest. Um, I hope I pull Jisang ones, but if not, it's fine. Um, I pulled Guanlin in this one. Yeah. It's pretty, I love the packaging. It's like, I love like black and gold. It's such a beautiful combination. Oh, next we have um, one of my newer albums, um, T.O.O, Reason of Being. It's, I don't know what the version is called. It's the black version. Um, I also have the other one here too. And yeah, I'm, this is their debut album and oh, I'm in love with T.O.O. Like I love these motherfuckers so much. And I've been like a pre-debut stan. And I'm just excited. They're having comeback soon. I think this or next month. So I gotta buy the comeback album too. But yeah, I think I'm gonna collect their albums as well. Because I'm just so in love with them. Uh, oh, here's my other Monster X album. I only have two. Um, this is the We Are Here album. This is Alligator, right? Yeah, this is Alligator. Um, I love this album. It's so pretty. And like, again, like Monster X has thick ass photo books and so many photo cards i got like four in here again so i and i don't remember who i got because i traded some of them too and like uh, i don't know i know i have a young one card because i really wanted one i don't remember if i pulled it myself or if i traded it though <laughs> um next is exo obsession so the funny thing is, um, I actually, like, this is the Obsession version, like, the one where, like, there's, like, both XXO and XO in there and, like, stuff, you know. And, um, actually, on I went on Amazon, I wanted to buy it, and I wanted to buy, like, the XXO version. And I thought it was the XXO version, then it arrived, and I looked at it, and I was like, this is the Obsession version, like, the one with, like, both of them, but, like... I didn't really complain because I really like this version too and I like that it's like two photo books like hello <laughs> and um yeah I really like this album I got Baekhyun's photo card in this one it's beautiful um next we have Super M I have so many SM albums my god <laughs> Super M um the Taeyong version I'm still like I'm not buying every version because there are too many and because they're like such a small album, they're pretty expensive. So yeah, I'm also buying the Lucas version sometimes. Because Taeyong and Lucas are like my biases in this group. And yeah, I got also Baekhyun's photo card. Like literally Baekhyun's everywhere. Like I'm, I can't. Like he's telling me something and I think he's telling me to buy his solo albums because I wanted to like for a long time. But yeah, super am. Mm -mm. Oh, here's the other version of the two al T O O album. Sometimes I say two. It's called T O O. The T O O album, the other version, like the blue one. It's pretty. They're all white. Yeah, yeah. They also didn't have real photo cards in this one, so I don't remember. Like I got like these special thingies, but I don't remember who I got because, like, you know. Um. Next we have the ugh, the gravity. Uh, debut album two versions i'm still missing like the last version like there's a third version and i'm hopefully buying it soon but um when i ordered these at like an online store the um, orange version was sold out they only had these two so i bought these two and thought i'm gonna buy the orange one later sometime yeah, this version one and two and they're so pretty like i i don't understand why not more people do like their albums like with like colors like this because they're so pretty and like so vibrant and it looks so cute but yeah i really like how, how they look like and you know it's pretty i also pulled mini in one of them and sedim in the other one but yeah it's beautiful Oof. i'm also gonna try to collect gravity albums we'll see how that goes <laughs> Next is um, the Wavy Awaken the World album. It's the... What version is this? I think it's the Awaken version. Like, it's the black version and the photo book is red, I think. So, yeah. Um, I really like this album. I really wanted to buy it because it's, like, Wavy's first full album. And, yeah, I'm trying to collect Wavy, too. I only have this one for now, but I'm gonna buy the other ones as well. 
And yeah, I pulled Ten's card and Lucas's circle card. And I got Lucas as um, a poster as well. So yeah, I love this. <laughs> so next we have like one of the only, I don't really have that many solo albums, but I got this one. It's Yunji Song, um, Aside. If you don't know him, he was in 101 and he was my bias in 101 and he has two solo albums out. This is his debut album. I only have this one till now. Um, he's currently doing his military service. <laughs> I miss my baby. But yeah, he's coming back soon. It's not um, that far away. But I really like the album. It's so pretty. And like the packaging. Like, hello. Like, do you see this? Like, I'm sorry. Like, this is so pretty. And yeah. I bought this because I also really wanted a photo card of his. And I'm not sure if, um, if I'll ever pull him in 1-1. So yeah. Pretty. Oh, next we have um, Nuest, The Table. This is the I Love Me album. And like the interesting thing about this album is that it's like, 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 like this, you know, like um, the photo book is like, I don't know how to say this, but it's not like the other ones. Like if I open this, also the pages are like so different. It's like, I can like open it all the way because it won't like just... I can't speak today, but you know what I mean. Like, you know. I really love this album a lot. It's cute. I am I planned on buying more newest albums, but this is the only one I have till now. And yeah, we'll see when I buy more. I'm hoping soon, but yeah. This is all I have for now. I also, I pulled um, JR, who's my bias. And I also pulled Aaron. And I pulled a unit card with both of them. So, like, I literally only pulled two members. But it's fine. <laughs> I love them. So, And I pulled Jonkin's card. So, I'm fine. So, yes. Um, next is Plea One Nero from Stray Kids. This is sadly the only Stray Kids album I own till now. Even though I've been a fan of theirs for a really long time. And this was my first comeback. I haven't gotten around to buy any albums. And I'm honestly... I'm, I really want to have all their albums like I'm, I'm thinking about collecting but yeah this is also special because i bought this of m wave because the cd is signed by one member and it's G songs sign on the cd <laughs> um yeah this was the only time i bought a sign from a random member just because i love strike it so much and i didn't really mind whose sign it would be and um yeah i only do that with like really groups i really love so yeah this is also one of my favorite k-pop albums of all time like the songs itself are just so good i'm oof, it's beautiful and i'm like trying to collect all the other ones but like there's so many <sighs> um this is probably one of my biggest albums as well it's the Leo album Muse. Um, this is also the only other solo album I have. It's from Leo. If you don't know Leo, he's from Vix. That's he's my bias in Vix and one of my old biases in K-pop. I love him so much and I needed this album. And I also need the other one. He has two out, but I only got around to buy this one. The photos in this queens. The photos like. I'm gonna go crazy, <laughs> like literally crazy. Oh, but yeah. Um, so this is Leo's album news. It's really, really big. It's probably also one of the biggest albums I have. Um, next we don't really have that many lo left, and uh, like this video is already too long. Um, so I gotta hurry a bit. So this is the SF9 album Narcissus. Narcissus. Narciss. I don't fucking know how to pronounce this. Um, it's the Enough album. I really loved the song and like I thought about buying an SF9 album for a long time. And I got it and it's so pretty and I love it and love the packaging and I love the, the color, like how it fades from like, like light to like dark blue and it's, it looks cute. I pulled Hyung and Insong in this one, yeah. Oh, so many albums. Um, next is the 101 to be one album. As you can see, normally there's like a group picture in here, but you always get like a picture of a random member. And I got Jin Young's picture and it's such a cute picture. So I um, made it in here so you can see it when you look at the album. 
this album is so cute like oh my god like they're at the beach and like the photo shoot is so cute and i just love this album like this was your debut album and yeah i love this a lot um i pulled someone in this one yeah these are like this and the other one are the only two one one albums i have till now i'm still gonna buy more sometime soon um next is one an nct one seven superhuman i bought this in oh my god oh i forgot there was like a card in here um i bought this when i was in paris last year at a bts concert <laughs> i was um with a friend we were in um in a store together looked at albums and i not originally wanted to buy a bts album but they didn't have the version of persona i wanted back then so i saw this and it was so cheap i think it was less than 20 euros so i bought it and um yeah i'm really happy I got um, Jehan and Mark, but my sister bought it like after me, like she bought the same one and she literally got Tail and um, Yuta and like those, like the ones I pulled were her biases and the ones she pulled were my biases, so we just changed. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one. Uh, next we have the other version of um, Dream Tapture Magic. Um, yeah, it's pretty in green. It's probably the only green album I own. And I just love the color a lot. It also lights up in the dark. Like, that's so cute. Yeah. And then the other TXT album I have is Dream Chapter Star, the debut album. Oh, you can see where, like, I put a sticker on here, but then I removed it because I didn't like it. And now you can see it. Like, I hate it. But yeah. Um, I love this album. I remember buying this like right after they debuted and I got Subin and Hyuninkai in this I think yeah it's cute it's cute oh next is my newest album I got um it's treasure like 80s episode fin all to action the first anniversary edition I Still gotta buy the normal versions of this album, um, but I got this just in case as if, if like they don't really sell it anymore or it's not in stock and I really wanted to have it um, because like it's full of their baby pictures and everything and it's so cute and I love it so much. But yeah, I got Yosang and Songwa photo cards in this one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It looks like your debut album. I love it. <coughs> Oh, next is the only GOT7 album I own, which is Spinning Top. Um, I'm still gonna tr gonna buy more GOT7 albums, but I didn't have the time for it till now. Or the money. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try to buy more albums of them. And I want to have, like, the newer ones as well. But yeah. I pulled Jin Young and JB in this one. It's pretty. My sister gave it to me for my birthday. <clears throat> um next we have the other version of the x1 oh my god and it's like a bit fucked up because i bought this off of amazon it was really cheap but yeah uh the other version of the x1 album like the black one i put songwoo in this he is literally my bias and i was freaking out back then because like i never thought i put songwoo in my first x1 album so yeah where did i put this here okay we're almost through it. Oh my god. <laughs> I only have a few left in here. Ugh. Okay. So next we have NCT127 Neo Zone. It's the... What version is this? Like, it only says 2 on here. I'm not sure, but like, yeah. It's the yellow one. I'm planning on buying the other ones too. I only have this one for now, but... um, They cost so much money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm fine. I pulled Hechan and Taeyong in this one, yeah. It's such a cute album, it looks so cool, and I love the album in general, like the songs on it. It's one of the best albums I heard this year, literally. Okay, next we have... Okay, let me do these together, because, like, they're the same. Um, we have 80s ugh, um, Wave and Illusion. What's it called? Treasure Episode 3, One to All. It's um, Wave and Illusion version. I got both because I'm gonna collect 80s albums and um, yeah I love this album a lot they're so cute love the photos in these ones so much 
I pulled Songwai in one and Ningi in the other one. Like, literally both in my list. I'm so I was so happy. But yeah, they're pretty. And especially this one, I love the color on this one. So cute. Oof, okay. Um, next we have uh, MCND Into the Ice Age, their debut album. Um, I love MCND so much. And... I was so happy to buy this album and I really want to collect their albums as well I, because I've been a stan since like pre-debut and uh, I'm so happy to see them like do their shit and everything you know see them succeed they've been really going through they have been like gaining so many fans lately it's so cute so yeah and Cindy I pulled Hui Jun in this one yeah I pulled Hui Jun which is fucking amazing because he was my first bias he's not my bias anymore but he's still one of my records but like he was my first bias and he's so important like to me like he's my baby i love him oh my god too many albums mm, next is the other version of the one us uh, razors album where i told you i pulled huang wong twice so like this was the other version where i pulled him and yeah, I still gotta buy, like, I have um, the newest bonus album, like, the single album on the way. I still gotta buy the lit album. And then I have older albums. And yeah, I'm gonna collect bonus as well, because I with them. Uh, next is my first 17 album. It's You Made My Dawn, like, the, the, bef like the before dawn version. And I was literally blown away when I bought this because you only get two photo cards and like one like picture here, like moving thing. And um, I have three biases in 17, which are Mingyu, Dino and DK. Queens, I literally pulled Dino and DK as photo cards and I literally got Mingyu as this moving photo. Like I pulled three, my three biases with my first album. Like this was revolutionary. <laughs> Like, oh my god, like, I got into 17 in this, during this era, and I love this album more than myself. <laughs> like, I love the songs on this so much, it's so good. Whew. Okay, we have two more. Now we have DKB Love Album, um, their first comeback. I still gotta buy their, um, debut album, but I pre-ordered this one just because I could. <laughs> and I love DKB a lot, and, um, I know that their music is fucking fire, and they're talented as shit, so yeah. I pulled Yuku in this one and it's cute, like the pink, I love it, like it's so beautiful. And the last one, my god, um, is 80s, <laughs> again, um, Treasure Episode 2, Zero to One, this is the Say My Name album. Um, I bought this together with their debut album back when it came out, I remembered. And yeah, because um, this was my first comeback with 80s, like this was their first comeback, but yeah, you know. And yeah, I love this album a lot. I pulled who did I pull? Ah no, wait! I pulled Wu Young in this one, and I pulled Songwa in the in the debut album. I pulled Songwa f three times already. Like this is crazy. He's one of my biases, like bitch. But yeah, this one. So yeah, those were all my albums. <laughs> my voice is almost gone. This was way too long of a video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna divide this into two parts. We'll see and um yeah i hope you like that um so if you want to see more videos you can subscribe to my channel i do a lot of reaction videos i also do other videos um sometimes um and if you want me to react to stuff i uh, you can always leave it in the comments or you can write to me on twitter twitter account is also linked in the description and yeah i hope you like this video and i see you in the next video bye